Okay, guys, what we're going to do now is the magic part of this lesson. We're going to take that image, this grayscale image, and put it onto this flag to get a realistic flag effect. Now, you'll notice that in Photoshop, I rotated my flag a little bit, and the one you guys have is this rotated version. But even if you don't have the rotated version, you're still going to get the same result. Slightly different direction, though. Okay, so let's take the flag that we imported and simply drag it into our timeline. And let's go ahead and hide it. We don't need to see it, we just need it to be present. I'll head back to the controls for our digi effects, but to en enable them again, simply click on the layer that has them on there, which is our flag. Now here's the fun part. Open up the displacement controls. As you can see here, we have a displace layer, right? And the layer that we're going to uh, use as the displacement layer is the grayscale image. And you'll see right away that we have a look that looks a little bit different here. I'm going to undo that to show you. This is before. And we'll put our displace layer back on here. And there's after. What we can do now is use the displace height slider. And we can slide this up or slide it back. And now you have the amazing billowing kind of effect going on. And you might be asking, can you animate this? Well, of course, young man. You click right here where it says displace height, the little stopwatch. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on the stopwatch. And I'm going to move my current time indicator over a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and change the height. Then I'll hit the home key on my keyboard. And I'll move the current time indicator. And now you've got animation. Now, of course, it looks a little jaggedy, right? So let me go ahead to this end point here. And let's talk about how we can fix this to make it look better. Now, earlier, we talked about the quality of this particular mesh. So we have to go back to 3D mesh quality. Let's go ahead and increase the subdivision. And I'm going to put anti-aliasing on low. And already, you see, we have a much better render. You can even go ahead and put that on medium or high to get an even better result. And when you actually render this movie, which of course I'm not going to do right now because we'll be waiting all day, is we'll have a really beautiful simulation of a flag that's being displaced by another image. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, if you want to see a lots of examples of this effect, simply go to YouTube and type in DigiFX and you'll see like leaves and newspapers and all kinds of things from TV commercials that have had this plugin applied to them. And you can see that this effect can really change the way you work with the application because you don't have to rely on a 3D model or a 3D render to create a 3D effect that lives once again on a simple 2D layer. All you have to remember is add a light and a camera and then use these controls to change how you're going to get your result and you'll be good to go.